If you lose Haya, you can do whatever you want. Or second part of the mission is to bring people closer to one another. And we praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we thank him for another opportunity of Jumu'ah. Jumu'ah is witnessed by Allah and his angels. It's a blessed time. It's a blessed hour to pray together to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seek his guidance, seek his light, so we can see better what is right and do it, and see better what is wrong and avoid it. We thank him and we bear witness that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. And we bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his beloved messenger, beloved brothers and sisters. When we read the Quran, Allah mentioned 25 messengers. And these 25 messengers lived for Allah and for the people. All of them share the same mission, which can be summarized in two things. And I want you to remember those two things. You must remember them. If you want sometimes the cream of the cream of the cream, these two things they did. And you want to do this as a Muslim, as a follower of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's simple like it is sounding. Their job was number one, to bring up people closer to their creator. Remove barriers, remove idols, remove people who want to use people in the name of religion. Open the door for people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tell people no one can stand between you and Allah. And that the closest you can be to Allah is yourself. And then Muhammad Sassim comes and says, The closest aqrabu ma yakunu al-abdu li wa huwa sajid. The closest a person can be to his creator is in a state of sujood. And then the second mission or second part of the mission is to bring people closer to one another. Be it at the family level, community level, national level, social level, bringing people closer together. No wonder why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لا خير في كثير من نجواهم إلا من أمر بصدقة أو معروف أو إصلاح بين الناس. There is no good in their gatherings. Look, people gather, what do they do? They spend hours just talking about other people. People sit together to talk about other people, include the good people. And including, especially in our community, subhanAllah, when one of us goes high and he's doing something good, everybody's pulling him down, attacking his reputation, attacking his integrity, attacking his honor or her honor. We are very good at that. It's a disease and it's from shaitan. And we all should take the blame for that. Don't say they. Us, we make that. And unless we face these problems and acknowledge the fact that we are also part of the problem, we can never solve any problem. So their job was to bring people closer to one another. Allah says there is no good in those gatherings. Except if they do the following. Tell one another to do what is ma'roof, what is known to be good universally. You know, there are many good things you could do. From teaching good things, to guiding, to contributing to society, to helping. إِلَّا مَنْ أَمَرَ بِمَعْرُوفِ بِصَدَقَةٍ Charity. If they come together, let us help so-and-so. Let us give charity to so-and-so. Or ma'roof, anything that is known to be good in any society. Or islah in bayna nas to reconcile between people. Husband and wife fighting, fa aslihu baynahuma. Groups of people fighting, fa aslihu baynahuma. Innama al-mu'minuna ikhwa, fa aslihu bayna akhawaykum. Believing men and believing women, all of them are brethren. 
And it is your duty to keep good relationship between everybody. If, if one group is unjust, if in one group is wrong, then stand with those who are wronged, those who are suffering the injustice and the wrongdoing. Until the other group comes back to justice and keep the balance. Subhanallah. With justice. And use equity. بالعدل وأقسطه إن الله يحب المقسطين. Allah loves those who are equitable. So this is my summary of all the 25 messengers that we know of the Quran. And I'm sure the other messengers, as Allah says, رسلا قد قصصنا عليك من قبل ورسلا لم نقصصهم عليك. Allah said we mentioned some messengers, but there are many messengers Allah did not mention in the Quran. Some of them mentioned in the, the Bible. We know them by name. But Quran is not going to mention every person. He mentioned those which are, who are relevant, like Musa alayhi salam. The story of Musa and Fir'aun will always repeat itself. There will be always Musas, and there will be always Pharaohs. And that's why there is Musa. The story of Yusuf is the longest story, a longest surah with one story. And the longest story in the Quran, Surah Yusuf alayhi salam. And look, Allah did not mention Yusuf except just touches here, but not the story of Yusuf except in Surah called Yusuf. For every youth and also the story of Yusuf is the story of the Muslims today and the struggle. Right now Muslims are in the jail. Everybody is accusing them that they have done wrong. This is the period of imprisonment of Yusuf alayhi salam. Draw a parallel between Yusuf and you and Yusuf and the Ummah of Muhammad sallam, in our time. Look now, you heard this morning big protest and yesterday in Arizona people are protesting in front of the mosques. I, ex I hope not but you will see it in Canada as well. You will see people say go away Muslims we don't want Islam, Islam is evil. All they are taught and fed wrong ideas about Islam. And you keep sleeping, keep sleeping. Sleep is good, good for you. Keep sleeping. Don't do no da'wah, and let's keep sleeping. Sleeping is nice, like the guy said. As-salatu khayru min al -nawm. The Mu'addin said, salat is better than sleep, and he said, an nawmu khayru min al-asal. Sleep is better than honey. Keep sleeping, let's sleep. Let's just worry about our mortgages and our bills. Let's sleep. Let's not do no. And the problem everybody wants, those who want to do da'wah, no education about Islam, no respect, nothing, everybody now speaking. So this is the situation. You will see more. I hope not, but you will see it. Or today, they are protesting against, they're going by mosques and scaring people in Arizona and, and, and Texas. Very bad situation. May Allah be with them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. So these two things are very important. If you can remember them, everything is good.